I'm essentially a one of two things, I'm a strength uh, fitness instructor and also a cardio fitness instructor. Communicating during a fitness class is a million times harder than I'm sure people even understand. There's, I'm counting in my head as I'm listening to the music, as I'm trying to cue out loud what to do next, as I'm trying to think of what we're doing after that, as I'm correcting people's form at the same time, and to learn how to manage a group of people is like the number one, which I think people think about but don't really really think about is, is what it takes to lead for an hour straight, you know, just my voice talking. Um, and if I don't do it correctly, no one's gonna follow me. I think that on my resume, this is gonna totally stand out in ways that I'm proud to talk about and I hope people would ask me in an interview that I've had to learn to be quick on my feet, um, to think analytically, to think not for myself ever, but to always think of other people because everything I'm doing, it's, it's for the health and well-being of others. So I am a graph designer because I love visuals and I love being creative. It's just very liberating to me, in the same way that drawing on a sketch pad was to me too. And the rec well has provided me that opportunity to express and communicate my love for art and drawing for other audiences. Damn, opportunity is really big. You get a lot of requests coming in for both designers and our marketing communications team. So you get a lot of opportunities to design pieces that you may want to utilize or put in your portfolio in the future. So we try to emphasize the rules so everybody can I feel like we really contribute to creating a more inclusive environment for the rec. We really talked about the importance of signage and communication and the words that we use in our promotional pieces and information. But now we use a lot more visuals. Like advertising when designed by one person is that person's work. Um, but when you work with another person, I would say that the message becomes that much stronger and the connection that you have as a designer to that work becomes a little deeper, so to speak. It's not just you, oh, I'm picking out this, this, and this, putting it on a file and calling it a day. I would say it's, yeah, I did this, this, and this, but I work with someone else to get to that point and now this is something that we created together. I don't know, I get a little sentimental when I see like work outside that I worked on with other people. It creates history. I think employable skills can be found anywhere, so especially in my role as a senior supervisor, I do a lot of like payroll management, uh, scheduling, training of officials, and skills that you use especially in training of officials and evaluating officials are, you know, solid communication skills, being able to give feedback effectively, you use those skills in, in any industry. As a supervisor on site, you're in charge of basically resolving any disputes, writing up paperwork if there are any kind of sportsmanship issues, uh, calming down participants because we're the ones as the supervisors that are trained to deal with those bigger problems. The officials generally aren't. So a lot of times it's not crisis communication, but communication with people that may not want to be communicated with. Um, and that's obviously a very ex effective skill, kind of staying cool under pressure and letting them know that you know, yes, you're hearing what they're saying, but they're wrong. <laughs> this is the head lifeguard. I'm checking the emergency phones. Can you hear me? Thank you. I started lifeguarding my first semester freshman year, and my second semester I got promoted to head guard. And swimming is huge. I mean, knowing how to swim is the difference between life and death for some people, and to be able to help someone develop that skill is super great. And I also feel the same way when I teach people lifeguarding skills. I've taught some certification classes and to know that I'm giving someone the skills to save a life is incredible. I've just learned a lot about how I show up as a leader and how to be the best like manager I could possibly be. I've learned a lot of communication skills, not only amongst peers, but also people above me, and how to properly form relationships with them. 
I've learned how to have a lot of difficult conversations and the importance of honesty and professionalism. And I feel like I have a step up against people that haven't had a chance to develop these professional skills. And it's really cool and exciting to be able to tell people what I do here.